Hey, so I'm testing out this uh, OneTap.ai. I know it says Excel.OneTap.ai, but it does work on Sheets, um, as here, Excel slash Sheets. I wish it said just Sheets. I wish Sheets was just separate. We had a Sheets.OneTap.ai. Um, just testing it out here. Um, I just got a free account. I just used one credit so far. Um, I'm actually testing it with a list of uh, requests that I've gotten um, as better sheets uh, from users who are like, I want to do this or this or this, and then they don't know what the formula is or they don't know how to do that. It might be a combination of formulas or it might be uh, some Google script you have to do, but like there usually is no e explicit uh, answer. So like get data from one table to another based on a cell's value. In, I have a Google Sheet that like translates this and it's available to Better Sheets members and we're all like adding to it. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to test one tap out with this. So I said, let's see, this is VLOOKUP. So this is perfect. This is the actual answer is, yeah, you want to use VLOOKUP. Now I want to change it a little bit. Let me delete that. And we're going to get data from one Google Sheet to another Google Sheet. And if you know the formula, shout it out now if you're, if you're watching this. Um, generate the formula. Import data. Oh, this is interesting. So I would recommend import range. So I wonder if that data automatically means import data. So maybe get information from one Google Sheet to another Google Sheet, or maybe get uh, a column from one Google Sheet to another Google Sheet. Um, let's see if it does import range. No, it does import XML. That's interesting. I would not use import XML. I would use import range. But maybe there might be a good idea of doing um, import XML. I don't think so. Um, so how can we get, get a, well, let's see if get a range from one Google Sheet to another Google Sheet. We have to really know that it is a range. It's called a range. Oh, and it says get dot data. Um, that's weird. Okay, so we're going to see if we discover something new here. So we have a Google Sheet. We've got import, XML data, range, all that stuff. So let's do get. Get pivot data. So there is no get data. There is no get data. So this is a weird one where if I'm using Sheets, um, then I don't, I can't use it. So this is a weird one. So I ask capitalize each word in a line um, and it says upper left a1 and lower right so basically what it's doing is it's using the upper formula to only upper the first character and then lowering everything else but the actual answer is that there is a formula in Google Sheets called proper um, and that will change it to basically title case so if you have like text here and here and then we say equals upper. Uh, four. So this is, you know, all uh, everything. But we can do proper. Proper four. And we have the text of the every word is capitalized. But let's go ahead and try this one just to see um, what it does. So we want to use E4. And what it's doing is it's giving us only the first letter and that's it. So actually, it is not capitalizing each word in a line. Maybe every word in a line. Let's see if it generates the right one. I think that's the same in a cell. Maybe not the line. Maybe the line is messing this up. Nope, same exact response. Okay, so I got this one. Change rows to columns in Google Sheets. If you know the answer to this, um, try shout it out. But let's see. Transpose. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, that was exciting.
So a couple of things I would absolutely uh, recommend is one, make sure that um, the actual answers are Google Sheets um, related, like they were, are possible. And there is obviously a little bit of um, room to improve on the AI, but it does feel like magic. It feels like, you know, these are questions that I got very commonly um, from Better Sheets members and exciting to see that there is a solution for this other than just like a Google Sheet of these questions and the answer to them. Um, it really feels like magic. Bye.